Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Real Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. In this one, I will be showing you the newly leaked SP to MP. As you can hear by my voice, I'm not too happy about it. Uh, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to actually activate cheats online and bring them online, which is pretty cool. But this glitch was kept secret and kept under wraps because we were using this on PS4. And by the way, this is an only a PS4 tutorial. This SP to MP cannot be done on Xbox as far as I know. I've had this for a while. So has, you know, a handful of other people in the GTA 5 community. We've been using it to bring cars online uh, through SP to MP. That's how we've been getting these modded cars with Benny's vehicles and things like that. And now that it's, uh, you know, out there, it's going to be patched and we're not going to be able to do this. You know, it was leaked by somebody who just got really upset and got fed up, had a bad day and just decided, you know, to screw over the whole community. Not the best thing to do, but you know what? It's out there already. Uh, I'm sad to see it, you know, out there because it's going to go real soon. Modded cars aren't going to be a big thing on PS4 anymore, at least with Benny's rims. But, um, yeah, you know, we're going to get going with this video tutorial. Founders are Fart Crew Shift Team along with Vladdy Rad. So shout out to my boys. What you want to do is go online and set your spawn location to this, you know, to anywhere in the city. But first, before we even like, you know, do that, the biggest requirement for this glitch is you need to complete story mode up to minor turbulence. OK, that's about 34 percent into the story mode. So you need to get up to there right when you finish minor turbulence, pull out your phone and do a quick game save while you're Trevor or Michael or whoever. And then you can actually do this glitch. So there's a lot of setup. You're going to be playing story for a while. Remember, just kill yourself a bunch of times. If you kill yourself three times, um, you know, in the mission, it'll let you skip that section of the mission. So if you want to speed through it like that, but to be able to do this SP to MP, you need minor turbulence. You need to get there in the story. All right. So right now I'm just showing you basically what I do. I have minor turbulence ready to go. Uh, you know, so what I'm going to do now is like you saw me there in story or sorry, in online, have your online character spawn somewhere in the city. I recommend being outside somewhere in the street and just set your spawn location to last location. Then leave the story mode or go to creator. And then you know, once you're sure your spawn location is saved, I recommend closing app like you saw me do right there. Close app and restart app. It works much, much better if you do it that way. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to load into story right here. And I'm actually going to load up my game save, which is minor turbulence. So check it out. All right, so I'm going to go to game right here. Load game. And you see minor turbulence right there. That is the one, all right? So I'm gonna load that game save up. That's the game save that I made right after I completed the minor turbulence mission, which like you saw there, it's about 34% uh, you know, completion in the game. And this is the way that you wanna do it, all right? So we're at this point now, fresh you know, game start. I know my spawn location is somewhere in the city and we're good to go, all right? I'm loading up minor turbulence and soon enough, we're gonna be able to do this, all right? So right now, I'm just waiting to load into that game save and this is the game save that you want or else it won't work this is the game save where or this is the mission where michael and trevor are exiled from the city this is why it helps with this there's no frozen money with this there's nothing like that i know some people are gonna start asking sp to mp do we get outfits do we get money glitches no there's no there is no money with this all right at the moment all right all we have right now are cheats for this video more to come later on but Right now we're just focused on cheats. So this is my game save right after minor turbulence. I like to switch over to Michael and do the glitch as Michael. All right. And you're going to see why, uh, you know, later in this video and in my, you know, probably the next videos I'm going to be doing on this glitch. So right now, remember only PS4 guys, Xbox cannot do this because first of all, Xbox, you need a recent activity, which, which Xbox doesn't have. And there's a certain alert that we get while doing this glitch that you cannot get on Xbox. I've tested it over there. All right. I've had this for a while. It, so far it doesn't work on Xbox as far as I know so PlayStation what you want to do is have a recent activity ready so any recent activity that brings you to GTA online like this go ahead and hover over start GTA online double tap the PS button to come back to story now input the cheat code for you know get, gaining a wanted level I believe it's R1 R1 circle R2 uh, you know left right left right left right I think I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment so go ahead and check that out for that cheat and I'll put other cheats there as well so you want to get one star and wait to get busted so we're gonna go slow here on this one all right so he's about to put up his hands right when he gets his hands up boom double tap the PS button start GTA online it's gonna bring you back accept this alert right away tap again and you don't have to double tap, just tap to go back to the PlayStation Store. And now you want to go over to the settings, okay? And you want to do this fast, all right? So go over to the settings, go to network, uncheck the internet. 
Now go ahead and double tap to come back. You should get this alert right here. All right, it's a connection alert. So right now we're just going slow. There we go, internet connection has been lost. Go ahead and double tap the PS button. Go to connect internet, so check it off again. Come back to the game. And now wait here. We're waiting for an unable to connect alert. This is what Xbox doesn't get. This is why Xbox cannot do this as far as I know. All right, so just sit here and wait for this unable to connect right there. Go ahead and accept that. You see at the bottom right, look at quitting session. Wait for that to disappear. Boom, double tap the PS button, disconnect your internet once again, double tap to come back, you get a black screen. Quickly double tap again and connect the internet. Then while you're still on the PlayStation menu, go ahead and go to your profile to activate a recent activity or go to your friend's recent activities. It's all good. Either one will work. So I like to go to my own recent activities. I don't know, to me it's more reliable. That's just what I do. So. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and find my own recent activities and find one that brings me into GTA 5 online, just like the one that we used before, basically, in the beginning of the glitch. So, I'm scrolling down. I have a bunch of bounties here. Any, If you purchase a vehicle, that one works as well. A few things do work, so I'm just waiting right here for it to load up. Now, I'm gonna press Start GTA Online, and this is gonna force you online. So, check it out. Look at the bottom right, orange save icon, and this is the key right here. Look at this alert that's about to pop up on the screen. Boom, Rockstar Game Services are unavailable. You can press X to retry. Go ahead and press X to retry, and there you go. You have hit the glitch. You will be spawning online, and then your character will split into your story mode character. So I'm gonna show you that same thing, but in real time, all right? Double tap the PS button right when the hands come up, start GTA online, accept that alert, double tap again, or just regular tap and go and disconnect the internet. So here we go, disconnected, come back to the game. We're gonna get this alert right here. All right, double tap right now, connect the internet again, come back to the game, wait for this new unable to connect alert. All right, so here we go, unable to connect, accept that, wait for quitting session to disappear, boom, double tap, disconnect, come back, black screen, double tap again, reconnect, go straight to a recent activity. All right, so you see now why I wanted to do it in slow motion first, because, you know, in real time, it's pretty quick, all right? And I just sped through it right there just to show you guys, but that's how fast you got to do it. Right when that black screen comes up, you must double tap again and go and reconnect and then stay on there to go to the recent activity, which is where we're at now. So start GTA Online. There we go. We're going to get this new alert to, and then press X to retry, or sorry, press square to retry. And now we should be loading online. All right, as simple as that. So at this moment, what you want to do is you can actually start inputting cheats right now. And like I said, go to the pinned comment. I'll be putting the cheats down there. What cheats that you can actually use, uh, you know, to work with this. I know flaming bullets, uh, flaming or explosive melee, explosive bullets do not work. If you do that, I think it can crash your game or just kick you offline or something like that. So invincibility, super jump, things like that do work. So you see I'm spawning in the city and look at that. Your character should split. And right now I'm invisible, but there we go. I'm actually Franklin. So there we go, my character split, SP to MP right here, no peyotes guys, so stop, you know, don't look for a peyote, it's not here, we're in the middle of a mission in the game, that's what it thinks, and that's why we were using this to bring cars online, okay? So right now, as Franklin, you could have put a cheat in as we were spawning in in the beginning, you know, like joining GTA Online, and I tried, I really did try, but for some reason, it didn't go through, all right? I never used this for cheats, we were using this, you know, for cars and stuff like that, that was the big, you know, thing about this. But, you know, that guy had to leak it, and here we are. So, you get a double menu when you're online. If you want to just avoid, you know, this double menu, you want to open up the interaction menu, you'll have the double menu. Close it, and then reopen it really quickly, and just keep trying to do that until you can, you know, nicely get that going. So, I'm just going to put last location as my spawn location, and the way that you can put more cheats in is you can actually hit find new session, all right? And while you're up in the clouds, you can actually input a cheat. So I'm going to hit find new session right here and now I'm up in the clouds and while it says loading right there, you can actually go ahead and input one of the cheats that you want. Like I said, invincibility, super jump, fast run, uh, you know, skyfall if you really want, I think, you know, the certain things like that really do work. Slidey cars, um, you know, anything like that. All right. Like I said, there's only three you don't want to do. Explosive bullets, flaming bullets and explosive melee, I believe. All right. So now I'm putting in a cheat code. And I had to cut this because it didn't work the first time, so it worked the second time, but check it out. You see cheat activated super jump on the left. There we go. I inputted the super jump cheat, and now I am online as my, you know, normal character, but I'm still kind of glitched with story mode as well. Okay, so that's why that works that way. But that's how you can get some cheats online, guys. You can go ahead and troll some people, have fun with it. Remember, certain people can see this. They think you're, you know, they'll be like, oh, are you a modder or things like that, even though it doesn't exist on PlayStation, <laughs> but... 
you know, just be careful, all right? You don't want to get reported too many times. You don't want to lose your account, especially if it's like your main account. But this is basically how you do the glitch, all right? So have fun with the cheats. See the menus are still screwed up. See, so I'm kind of still like my story mode character. But yeah, have fun with these cheats, guys. I'll put, you know, the cheats you can do, or I'll just leave a link down in the pinned comment of like all the cheats in the game. You can go ahead and try whatever you want. Experiment with this, have fun. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. Make sure to slap a big fat like on this video and the rest of my videos. Subscribe if you're brand new by hitting that big red button and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.